Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing another brand new episode in my 15 minute build series. And in this series, we're going to be building this general store. Take a look at it from the outside. It's very, very simple on the outside, nothing fancy. But we'll come inside and take a look. And as you can see, you've got shelves with various goods on display. This would be a cool little uh, store type build for maybe a multiplayer server or a survival world server, however you want to do it. If you just want to make a little town and, you know, whatever. We've got some armor stands over here. But all in all, kind of a cool build. And uh, I like it a lot. Now, the shelves, I didn't know I could actually do the shelves that way. I was watching a live stream on Twitch the other day. Uh, it was Scar. Good Times with Scar is his YouTube channel. Definitely check it out if you've never looked at it. He is, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, survival mode builder on YouTube. Just fantastic. So definitely check him out. But uh, basically, I didn't know you could do the shelves and then put item frames behind them. Turns out you can, so very, very cool. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get right to building. We're going to go ahead and put 15 minutes on the clock, starting right now. So let's go ahead and give ourselves some space. Um, I think about here should be good. And we'll go there, there, and there. And then it'll be the door. We repeat it like so. And then over here, you're going to go... One, two, oop, not right there, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put two stairs, one more, and then another chiseled red sandstone. Red sandstone. I can't talk today, holy cow. Then we'll go ahead and bring this all the way across. One more sandstone in the corner. And go like so. Now back here, you want this to be a three-wide room. So we're going to bring this out like so, just like that, and actually we want that right here, I think. Or maybe I even put it, eh, it doesn't really matter. Either way, okay. Now what you'll want to do is go ahead and build this up four high, just like this. And the sandstone is going to come up four high as well. Let's go ahead and make it day again. And we'll just bring this across all the way as well. And it never ends, does it, with the rain and with the night and with the, all the other stuff. Okay, there we go. So we got rid of that. Now here we'll bring this across as well. We're going to put a window right there. This will be sandstone too. And... Just like so. Bring that over. That one's just a blank wall, nothing fancy. The problem is, uh, if you decorate the outside too much, it messes up the shelves on the inside. So, I'm sure this build could certainly be improved, but uh, I couldn't really think of any good way to do it. So, let's go ahead and right here, we're going to want to put stairs. I meant to do that before, but I didn't. There we go. Now here, this is once again the oak planks, bringing it up uh, three to a total of four high. So you'll bring it up three high from where it's already at. Do the sandstone. And then, what? Ah! This is what happens when you record at like one in the morning, guys. You lose your mind and mess yourself up. Okay, there we go. And then we'll bring that across too. Now, the floor in here is birch planks. So we might as well do that right away. We'll just knock out the whole floor area. Like so. And replace it with birch planks. Just like this. And we'll put some birch planks there as well, because that'll be the entrance. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. Now, in the corners, we're going to put spruce wood, and that will come up a total of three blocks. I need to bring this up two because we got some windows that go right here. There we go. And I suppose this can come all the way across as well. And then we'll put more spruce wood in the corners. Now, of course, you can modify this design however you want. If you think a different type of wood would look better, or if you're building this in a survival world, and uh, there's not really a whole lot of other stuff to go around, you know, go ahead and build it however you want. It's totally fine. You're not going to hurt my feelings, I promise. So... This would probably be easier to do with spruce planks right here, but uh, I don't have them in my hotbar, and I really don't feel like getting them out. So we're just going to use slabs all the way across, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to put a row of full-sized spruce blocks around the edge, and then uh, spruce half slabs in between to kind of give you some headspace. And we'll just bring this all the way over as well. Missed one back there. There we go. And we'll put one there. And this will also come all the way around too. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to put up some torches on the doorways. Like so. Might as well go ahead and fill in the windows right away. And actually, the rest of these would probably be easier to do from inside, so let's run inside real quick. Put some right there. And there's two more windows right there. Okay, so that's a good start. Now, let's finish the roof before we finish the interior. For the roof, it's basically a mansard roof which is uh, something I learned after putting out my uh, Elevated House video, also from this same series, the 15-minute build series. And I, I, it was a roof of this style, but I didn't know what the official architectural name for the roof was. And someone was nice enough to comment and let me know that uh, there is a, an official name for this type of roof. It's called a mansard roof. So I thought that was kind of cool. A little bit of trivia. But it's a very simple and easy roof to make. You basically just go up too high with stairs. And then fill in the middle. Like so. And that's almost done. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're doing just fine for time. We're good. We got seven minutes elapsed, a little bit over that. So, yeah, we're definitely in good shape. Now, we're going to go ahead and get rid of all this stuff because we don't actually need it anymore. We might as well put our doors on right away. I think the doors for this particular build actually look better on the outside like so and then we need some gray carpet you have to put the bottom layer down first otherwise as you can see if I break this one all these other ones fall off so you gotta do that gotta put the bottom layer in I would prefer actually not to have a bottom layer in this case but whatever it's okay So we'll bring this across. Now we're going to need a ton of item frames. And we'll fill all these in. Just like so. Oh, not an item frame within an item frame. Oops. There we go. Fill these in as well. And there, I'm, there I go again, putting that item frame where it doesn't belong. And again, this is... I think the... I think the game is telling me that I need to put more item frames in my build. I think that's what it's trying to let me know. 
I'm not sure. We're going to put some armor stands right there. And now we're going to grab a bunch of different tools. Um, we'll maybe grab some oddities like flint and steel and a compass and whatnot. We'll grab a sword, we'll grab a bow, and we'll grab some arrows. And we'll do uh, weapons over here. We'll do bows over here and arrows down here. Now, it should be noted you can rotate these if you think it would look better like that or like this. You know, that's fine. You just right-click them to rotate. But that's up to you. I'm just going to leave them the way they naturally appear in the item frame for the sake of time, primarily. So we'll get those in. Now over here, we'll put pickaxes up top, followed by shovels and axes down here, like so. Now we need some armor, so we'll grab some chain, I think, and then some iron. And we'll do chain armor over here. And iron armor over here. And I think that's pretty much it, so let's just double check the build for accuracy. Looks good there. Let's make sure it looks the same over here. And it all looks good to me. So, I am going to go ahead and call this build complete. I have 10 minutes and 23 seconds on my clock. So there you go. We have a... Oh! Oh, just kidding, guys. Better make it 10 minutes and 25 seconds. I forgot the final touch, which of course is the signs up here that say General Store. But either way, we've still got the build complete in time. No worries. I'm just going to call it. I'm just going to call it at the 1023. We're good to go. So, build is completed. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Really helps keep me motivated. Also, you can now follow me on Twitter. It is at Wells Knight Plays, so definitely check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.